Hello, hello. Okay, let's... Oh, it's good to be back, playing some more Vesperia. I did a little bit of grinding off stream. Hopefully, hopefully we're in good shape to take on this boss now. Because uh, it was giving us a lot of trouble. Let me just make sure... That, okay, looks like captions are working. That is good. Looks like options are present. That is also good. Okay, uh, we can actually jump up to the, the full screen here. Uh, get the party all set up and ready. Everyone at full health. Pretty close to full TP, I would say. Excuse me, my nose is a little itchy there. Uh, now... Hey, love. Good to see you. Welcome in. Did you get stuff to eat already, or are you just hopping on a mobile to, to send an emote there? Nice, nice. What do you think you're going to get yourself? I'll run for this. Estelle doing anything to enemies. I mean, I guess if there's nothing else to do, sure, but... items without my, my say-so.
Okay, this setup should be a little better because we're gonna have Reed and Estelle doing their best to stay as far away from danger as possible, and I've told Rapid to to help out anyone who's low. So if they are getting chased down by an enemy, he'll he should be attempting to assist them. Move that water bottle out of the way. I don't need that right now. Since I have some tea here to pour in a second. And it's still going to focus almost entirely on recovery. Change the name to... strategy. This boss, and I'll. Oh, I should probably get back to. I should still have a full attack strategy, though. That can be this one, I guess. Okay, that should be good. Well, or at least a little better for strategy. Um, everybody's got... Actually. Just defense and agility a little bit, but it would give... Poison Ward. Well, that's only 50% chance of... Producing poison. What do you have? This is your defenses. Mm, this should be a reasonable setup here, I think.
It's a resave with all these things set so I don't have to re completely set up that strategy again from scratch. Alright, let's give it a go. What's that? We can play through the cutscene again since it's the the first attempt of the day. Ah! Th that's one of the monsters that attacked Halor. A survivor, huh? If we leave it here, it'll surely go back and try to attack Halor again. Most likely. But Halor has the barrier protecting it now. Even so, how are the people of Halor supposed to sleep at night when beasts like this crawling around just outside the barrier? Okay, uh... First things first, I wanted Yuri to... Prevent all magical ailments on himself. I want Estelle to. Oh, yeah, and I wanted to turn off certain things. Uh... Actually, I can leave those on. I told her to focus on healing, but if she, if she has the opportunity to attack, I can leave this stuff on. Uh, I want to apply Barrier Yuri. However, with Rita, I want to turn off everything but Fireball, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Repeat doesn't have anything that inflicts elements, so that doesn't matter. And I know I'm using most, or going to be using mostly Destruction Field on Yuri. Uh Okay, it's all right. Okay, Estelle got uh poisoned. Well, why can't I use... It's weird. Okay, ads are down. Why? That's not a good start, but... Great repeats dead. Burning through our life balls. Oh shoot, Yuri's down. Mean. What 
Watch out. This one's tough. Okay. Put it down. Rita, why are you over here? Repeat, please. Cure me of poison. Uh, am I not on the boss strategy? if I actually put the strategy on that I want to use. I repeat when you have a sec, like Paula Rita. And now, repeat Apple Gel Berry. Okay, over limited, that's not good. Oh, fuck, Estelle's down. Pete and Yuri were both down, but we, we beat the boss, so it's all good, I guess. <laughs> Cheering for you? Thank you. It was... you came in right in time to win the fight for me. I appreciate that. Um, do they get experience when they're dead? Or did they miss out on the experience for that? Sure, Carol, yeah. Hardly put up a fight. There's a dozen more just around the corner. No worries. Seriously. Well, let's just hope there aren't too many more where it came from. Uh No, they didn't get experience because Yuri was ahead. Shoot. Uh, I'm going to load. And try it again using my uh, strategy from the get-go. Because I don't want... I'm gonna make you work. I'd rather not lose out on all that experience. Like 800 is a lot of experience, so... Let's try this again. Okay, right off the bat we changed the right strategy. We edit Rita's Arts. Uh, nothing to edit here, nothing to edit here. But... We Yuri will Let's try this. Hector himself. So we'll barrier him. Okay, can you not?
Okay, it overlimited again. There we go. Now Halora is safe as well. Much, much cleaner that time. Used a lot less items and what the heck? Hmm, thank you for the hype. Now we didn't we didn't do the secret mission the second time. I don't know if that's just though like I don't think that actually gives you anything in game. I think it's just for like achievement sake. We did we did it the first time. We got the achievement, so it's it's all good. Man, could you be any weaker? Don't let him so it's putting us on safe DP at the start, which is good. I just gotta make sure... Yeah, turn everything back on for Rita. Trip you up. There we go. Uh, I should actually... I left a save point just behind. I should probably save having beaten that boss. Well, it is much more manageable after leveling up a little bit and getting a decent strategy in. I do not want to... Uh, have to do it again. It's the ocean. Look, Yuri. It's the ocean. I can see that. The wind feels great. Hey, Shadi. Welcome in. How are you doing today? Good to see you. I've seen pictures in books before, but I've never seen it up close like this. Well, people don't usually travel outside the barriers. If we keep going, we can see all sorts of things, like the jungle or the city of waterfalls. There are so many more things we could learn, if only our journey would continue. I guess it's true. I really was living in a small world. That's a rare moment of sincerity coming from you. <laughs> it's your first time seeing it too, right? Well, yes, but... Doing well, just knitting and relaxing? Oh, nice. Sounds like a lovely evening. I am well, thank oh, you for asking. Uh, you must have had such a lonely life. Doing good today. Do your research like that. Having you pity me makes me want to jump off this cliff. This water has traversed the world's oceans, and has seen all there is to see. The ocean binds the lands of our world together. Here she goes again. It's really just one big puddle, you know. Whatever. You were pretty moved back there, too. <laughs> huh? <laughs> so this is the world as he sees it. 
Yuri? Flynn must have stood on this spot earlier and looked out at this same scene. That's true. His duties do take him to many different places. Mm -hmm. Always telling me to catch up with him. Easy for him to say. Nor Harbor is just around the corner from Emmett Hill. We'll catch up to him in no time. But will he be That's there? What I was talking about. Huh? What do you mean? All right, let's get moving before LeBlanc and friends show mm. up again. Excuse me. Just follow the ocean road to the west after leaving here to get to Nor Harbor. We can't miss it. We'll have plenty more chances to see the ocean. Your journey will continue for as long as you want. <sighs> it's all up to you. You've made it this far, haven't you? That's true. Last one down's a rotten egg! Oh, cut off the tail end of that voice line. <laughs> Idiot. Oh, Carol. Alright, I came from this way. Grave, perhaps? A grave in a place like this? Mm. Seems like a reasonable spot to me for someone maybe who loved the ocean or loved the view around here. Actually, this is just the type of place I'd expect to see one. Yeah. What do you mean? You know, like the grave of someone who plotted against the Empire and failed? That seems a little of a reach. If you wanted to bear somebody and keep it quiet, you'd want a place like this with no one around? I <laughs> wonder if that's what I've got in store for me. Don't say such things. That isn't funny. I wasn't exactly kidding. It's just a fact of life that some folks from the lower quarter never get a funeral or a proper burial. What happens to them, then? They get cremated and have their ashes scattered over a river or a field, usually. Are you telling the truth? How did we get started talking about this, anyway? Because we're trying to figure out what a lone grave is doing in a place like this. Yeah, so just who does it belong to? That was kind of a weird little scene.
Is that the way we're supposed to go, or is this the way we're supposed to go? I feel like this is the way we're supposed to go. There's probably just a chest hidden over here somewhere. Look at all these enemies. Oh, there's a lot of chests. Take you out first over here in the corner. for a double then. trouble at all. Oh. Uh, nine higher physical defense, three lower magic defense? Yeah, that's probably worthwhile. gold. Yeah. I'm kind of rich after that grinding. Yeah, I've got 35k right now. Making a peanut butter sandwich? Nice, that sounds tasty. I could go for a peanut butter sandwich, actually. I might make one on my break later. Okay, yes, yeah, so this is just a dead end. This is where we come out? Yeah. What's this? Why is there an empty chest? It's a camping set. With this, you can set up camp and sleep without having to go to an inn. Oh, that's nice. Now you can go off and play Nature Boy whenever we sleep at an inn. And we'll sleep funny, too. Rita. What are you talking about? Camping sets are single use only. Oh, no. Rita, don't be so The classic mean. single use tent. Hmm. That sounds really useful, Carol. Yeah. They're essential when you're on the road. In addition to camping sets, you could also sleep on mats. But camping sets are really the best thing to use. You can't get a better night's sleep with anything else. What wonderful timing. All of you look so exhausted from climbing. You look pretty pooped yourself. Yeah, we've got a ways to go before we get to town, too. Maybe we should set up camp here. All right. I'll get everything set up. Oh, once you camp somewhere, 
You won't be able to camp around there for a while afterwards. Why is that? <laughs> After camping at a certain site, the basic barrier that's included in the camping set will stop being effective for a while, so long as you're near that site. The basic Doesn't. barrier? What's that? There's no blast. Doesn't make any sense, but it's not a blastia, actually. It's just something that gives off a smell that monsters find unpleasant. Mm. That's why they call it a bear. It can keep the monsters at bay for a night. But after enough time passes, the monsters get used to the smell, and it won't keep you safe anymore. Okay, that actually does make sense. Mm. That he elaborated that on a little bit. Well then, we'll leave the set up to you, Carol. All right. Let's set up a camp a little bit further. Set up a camp by using a mat, simple tent, tent, or barrier on the field map to recover HP and TP. The amount of HP and TP or TP recovered depends on the item. You will not be able to use an item to set up camp again until after the next battle. So we can't go this way, I think, because it should link up to... Yeah. Don't want to get caught by the guards. Yeah, okay. I figured as much, I was just double checking. Oh, now we're back on the world map. What is this? Wait, this is an enemy? I thought it was just a person. Sorry if I hurt you. They are people. along here. Is there any reason for me to cut it along the shore here? Just go away. There's no way you could win. Oh, I feel so powerful. Nice, getting lots of level ups. Actually going anywhere that is gonna take me to anything. Don't get sloppy. As your <laughs> hey, Miss Mango, welcome in. How are you doing today? Good to see you. Oh, okay. okay I need to be careful here. Careful, I don't have a lot of life bottles. It's not about the destination, it's about the journey. Sure, that's true, but like, I have a destination that I'm supposed to be going to. And I'm kind of just ignoring it to wander along the coast. For no particular. Oh. I feel like this is getting to somewhere I'm not supposed to be yet.
Yeah, okay, because I can't traverse. Today's been a shit show, so we're ready to just be here and have a good time. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Mango. I hope we can we can give you a little bit better experience than that. Let's get this over with. It, uh, it wasn't on stream, but I picked up a couple more Hades wins yesterday. You want revenge? Bring it! Thank you for that hype. Now that I've figured out how the gun works a little better, I'm I'm actually kind of enjoying it. I mean, I, well, I always enjoyed it, but I I felt like I was really bad with it my first few attempts. But now I'm starting to get it down a little better. Could you be any weaker? Don't get cocky! It'll be a hundred years before you can beat me. Well, everybody's 21. I don't really need much in the way of experience right now. I can probably skip most of these fights on the way here. That's where I'm supposed to be going, that place at the end of the road right there. I'm going to quickly check. That's just mountains, I can't go that way. I'm going to swing up here and see what's on this high ground. up here. I don't see anything of note. Man, could you be any weaker? Don't get cocky. Wonderful. How's this? 
So I don't think there's anything worth investigating out here. That. Aha! Worth it. Things seem ominous, at least at the beginning. Man, the weather sure changed in a hurry. Let's find an inn before we get soaked. Estelle, what is it? Oh, I, I just thought a harbor town would be more lively than this. Yeah, this isn't exactly how I imagined it either. Ooh. Hmm. Sorry for the yawning. But it feels like the kind of place that core thief you're looking for would hang out. Dedeki was headed for Torum Harbor. I'm sure the two are pretty similar. No way. It's only Nor Harbor that's scummy like this. What do you mean? Nor Harbor is... It's I all because of the Empire. To that little brat if you didn't have our money. Please, sir. Not that. Please give me back my son. Oh my gosh. With this awful weather the last few months, we haven't been able to launch the boats. Surely you realize, sir, we can't hope to pay our taxes like this. You'd better hurry up and capture that Ripgaro beast then, shouldn't you? That's right. If you sell his horn, you'll never have to worry about taxes again. How many times do we have to tell you? Uh, you're gonna do something about that? They have that, those people's child. Is that the sort of scurrying you're talking about, Carol? Yeah, the Empire's influence is really strong here. I heard things got even worse with the new magistrate. He's some Imperial big shot who does whatever he wants. Which means there's no one to complain to if his henchmen act like that. <sighs> but how can that be? That's enough! You're hurt! You might even get yourself killed this time! But it's our son! If I don't go... Ah! What are you trying to do? Oh, sorry about that. I didn't see you there. Yuri! My apologies, sir. <laughs> Let me take care of that. Damn it, Yuri. He'll pretend to be an asshole to actually help people out play. But I... I can't afford this treatment. Don't you have something else to say? Huh? Jeez, you guys been robbed of your manners along with your money? Uh, I'm sorry. Thank you most kindly. We love him, I guess. Yeah, Yuri, I mean... Huh? Yuri? I do love Yuri, but he's... He's very jaded. Parted with everyone.
Alarming. Not in business right now because the magistrate gets a percentage by way of taxes. Okay, what do we got here? Heck in capitalism. It's always the real enemy. Uh, there's no point in me trying to synthesize anything right now because I don't have most of my stuff on hand. Uh, wait, and this is all... None of this is new recipes anyway. Do you sell anything new? Uh, you do. Sell a f couple of things I don't have yet. I don't have that because I made it to a chain plus one. That's what I don't have it. Wait, but she... Will it not tell me if she... Maybe because they're not my party, it won't tell me what they've learned yet. I'm just going to wait and buy stuff when I have everybody with me again. Could you... I, I, I'll buy more later. I'm sorry, fellow. Oh, there we go. More synthesis. Scarf plus one, sunglasses, ooh, attack ring, definitely want one of those. Okay, wait, did you have any more ear grabbers? No, those are the same two. I can't access that yet. Here's the back door I got in. Looks like the man's hand looks like a man's handwriting. Hmm. Guess we'll go where we're supposed to go. Or where I think we're supposed to go, because we saw something run down here. Here comes that boy. Yuri, are you all right? Flynn, what are you? Hey, that's my line. I've been looking all over for you. <laughs> that's also that our line. Mine too. about to get ugly. All right. Whoa, hold on. What are you doing? Yuri, I'm happy to see you're finally seeing the world outside the barrier. So be a little more happy then. Stop pointing that thing at me. Well, I got a little less happy when I saw this. Hey. It's up to 10,000 gold. Nice. I didn't think when you quit the knights that you'd take up a life of crime. <laughs> that lovely rendition. A lot of things have happened, Flynn. It's not that simple. 
Simple or not, a crime is a crime. <laughs> It's not that simple. Simple or not, a crime is a crime. Flynn, you're not, you're not listening very well. Good to see you're as stubborn as always. I. Uh oh. Yuri, I heard something happened. Are you all? Perfect timing. Flynn. Huh? Oh, Flynn, are you all right? Have you been hurt? Uh, I'm fine. Um, Lady Estelise. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just so happy to see you. I... Please, this way. What? Uh, but, Flynn, there's something I need to tell you. I better go find Carol and Rita. Probably. I already talked to you, right? Yeah, you were the first person that said you couldn't sell me anything right now. Travelers, watch out. The magistrates in this city are evil. Not only do they take taxes from their citizens, they also make travelers pay. Welcome to the port of Capua. Capua is divided into Nor to the south and Torm to the north. This is the south side, Caponor. Okay, there's the party. Uh, that goes back to the field map. Where does this go? Wanted vicious, nah, vicious fugitive at large, dressed in black with front buttons opened, male, long black hair. If seen, contact the Imperial Knights at once. That sounds a lot like me. This looks like it probably just goes to the Magistrates area, I would guess. Business, do you have the Consular's Mansion? Uh, none. Sorry. Just running around exploring. Don't mind me. the Wonder Chef! <laughs> Teach you to cook as a reward. What do I get today? Sorbet! I know some people who like sorbet. Give me this so you can practice. Nice. My apologies, the entire wharf is closed off by the Magistrate's orders. I'm afraid I don't know when it will be open. Wonder Chef is you? You just go around teaching people how to make sorbet and giving them ingredients? Welcome, or sorry, I would like to be able to say trying to align our service isn't operating right now. The Magistrate says he'll sink any ship that sets out. Can you believe that? Pete's not happy in the rain. Some guy yeah. just dragged Estelle <laughs> right by us. Are they both inside the inn? Yep. So that other guy was Flynn then. Yeah, well... You might not be able to get a word in edgewise if you went in now. Seemed like they might be in there a while. Want to burn time walking around town a bit? Sure, okay. I just walked all around town.
Oh, so now I can go check? What? This must be one of those times where there's like a minor thing I have to do to trigger the next, uh, the next advancement in the story, but I don't know what it is. Do I check back down the alley? Is there something I missed down here? No, I can't. Can't do anything. I feel like I've spoken to everyone in town. is blocking us from continuing on. Just doing his best to stay busy in town while waiting for their meeting to end, eh? I mean, I am. I try to leave, it just tells me to go check on them. I go to check on them, Carol tells me I shouldn't interrupt. I can run across the bridge again. Even though I know there's nothing over here. There is something over here. <gasps> oh my gosh! <laughs> so, the reason I just got so excited all of a sudden is because um, this character here is one of the characters that was in the. Um, the Japanese version of the game that was not in the North American version, like at all. Like I've, she she wasn't present whatsoever. I've never actually seen her before. I've just seen her on the promotional art for the Japanese version and for this version. So this is one of the aspects of the game that's completely new to me. What the hell is a brat like you doing trying to get in here? Ah, don't throw a hissy fit. Have a bite of this and calm down. 
Get that out of my face. This isn't the kind of place for kids. Whoa. Hypey man? Oh, both of those are, both of those are good love. Yes, new content indeed. That sure is a rough way to treat a child. Who the hell are you? That brat's daddy or something? Seriously, do I look like the parent of a kid this big? Time to try again. Oops. <laughs> hey, hey. You really think it's okay to point a weapon at an unarmed child? I'm just teaching the brat a lesson about the consequences of breaking adult rules. Just cut it out, okay? Yeah. Wh what? <laughs> she has smoke bombs? This guy's just going for it. Oh my gosh. His immediate reaction is just to kill anything that comes near him when he can't see. <laughs> You've come this far, and now you're just gonna run away? You need to be prepared if you're going to grab a beautiful young lass's hand. Prepared? Prepared for what? Sorry, now ain't the time. Uh, what? Farewell! You brat! Get back here! Damn it. The hell was up with that kid? Hey, buddy. You better get lost, too. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> okay. Uh, as far as an introduction goes, that's pretty good. I like her. She's fun. I love the classic switcheroo when leaving the doll wearing her clothes in her place. Well, I guess Flynn and Estelle should be done talking by now. And we get it as a key item? Interesting. Cast off doll. A doll of a mysterious girl left behind... Or a doll a mysterious girl left behind in her escape. It's surprisingly detailed. What a waste of talent. <laughs> His defense. I could not see anything, so I just swung. Pretty much. We, we pretend we do not see it. He could have he, like, he hit his buddy. He could have hit anybody. Should we go inside? Okay, good. So now... Uh, yeah, why not? <laughs> See what? Oh, it's our first I guess skit the of the empire night. likes to throw its weight around no matter where you go. Before I left the capital, I didn't know or care about anything besides the lower quarter. It's not everywhere, but I feel like the empire's influence is especially strong on Elikia. They can do whatever they want since there aren't any major guilds on Elikia. We can't just let it stay this way. Okay. Is that a carrot nose and frosty hat on the Undusa? <laughs> that looks great. Seems it doesn't matter how much money I have, no ships are leaving, and that's that. I've made my peace with it. So it experiences like this, it's impossible to find out how the common folk live. Oh. Traveling as I normally do, I'd never have the chance at such an important experience. The common folk, you say. You can't see it, love? It's not showing up for you? It works quite well, actually. Oh, oh, oh. Let's just take it easy, eh? Life is short, it should be spent in comfort. 
I'm not scared of the magistrate. I'm a noble. Oh, I can enter either of these rooms. I should probably save before I leave this room, though. I tell you, this is one mean world. Heh, I guess that's not much of a welcome. Anyway, want to stay? 300 gold a night? Uh, no, because I don't think that's what I'm supposed to do right now. I think I'm supposed to walk up to one of these doors and go inside. Did I pick right? I did pick right. All finished? And are we done whispering secrets? I've heard your story up until this point, Yuri, and also the reason for the bounty on your head. First off, I owe you my thanks for protecting her. Okay. Oh, I've been meaning to express my gratitude as well, Yuri. It's nothing. I was already out searching for that Blastia thief. And that's where we have a problem. Hmm? Regardless of the circumstances, the Imperial law cannot allow the obstruction of officers, jailbreaking, and trespassing. Oh, Flynn. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I told him everything. Don't be sorry. I mean, I did all that stuff. Then I assume you are prepared to receive the punishment your actions deserve. No, not particularly. Flynn. Do whatever you like, but just listen a minute, will you? Secrets, indeed. So you can tell me how it was all done in order to get back the lower quarters Blastia core? That's what you wanted to say, right? Sir Flynn, I have news! What is Rita doing here? I heard you refused an Imperial request for assistance. Do you think it's alright for a mage employed by the Empire to simply abandon her obligations? Who is this sassy child that just wandered into the screen? Or the scene, rather. Who's that? <laughs> Got me. <laughs> Rita doesn't even know. <laughs> Whatever. It's not like I care a whit about you, either. I'll make the introductions. This is my second-in-command, Sodia. This is Witcher, a mage who offered his assistance to us at the laboratory in Ospio. Witcher, eh? This is my... You! Sir, it's the criminal from the Wanted poster! <laughs> How does everyone recognize Yuri based off that poster? At ease, Sodia. He is a friend of mine. What? But sir, he's a wanted man! When hasn't Yuri been a wanted man, am I right? I've just heard his story. While he is guilty of minor crimes, the warrant for his arrest contains false accusations. Later, I will return him to the capital and explain the situation. And he will receive his due punishment. My... my mistake, sir. Witcher, let's have your report. Also, Sodia is real cute. So we're done here, right? I believe the ongoing rain and wind are being caused by a Blastia. Like her hair? Yeah. Yeah, she's got a nice cut. The weather in this season is unpredictable, but this does not explain why it worsens whenever boats leave port. We also have testimony that something like a Blastia was carried into Magistrate Rago's residence. I've never heard anything about a Blastia that controlled the weather. Nothing like that has ever been excavated. Wait. The Aquid Blastia. The ruins. It couldn't be. You onto something, Rita? So his lordship, the Magistrate, is using a Blastia to control the weather. It appears that way, though we can't yet say for certain. The harbor has been closed due to weather. Any ship that leaves is fired on for disobeying the ordinance. So much for crossing over to Torum. 
Those aren't the only rumors surrounding the Magistrate. He's released a monster known as Ribgaro into the wild, and amuses himself by forcing those who can't pay their taxes to hunt it. He claims he'll pardon their taxes if they can manage to capture the beast. How cruel! That injured couple we met near the entrance must be two of his victims. And their child! What? What happened to their child? Forget about we it. We don't... No, don't forget about it. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's been a hell of a day for us and we're tired. Let's just stay at this inn for the night. Also, we can't forget about a certain missing person. Missing person? Who could it be? It was in this room. It's locked. I think it's going to make me stay the night now to progress. <laughs> the kid can wait. I'm asleep. Exactly. Can't be a hero on a little rest. Uh... Sure. down an imperial request to run around with these people? Is she trying to ruin Aspia's reputation? Who would have thought someone with a 10,000 gold bounty in his head would have would be a friend of Flynn's? And Sir Flynn too? The crime must be punished and justice shall be served. Even though you know this, you still do what you did. Where? Estelle wasn't in the room anymore. Where? And she's not with us. Where's Estelle? It's weird. So what's the plan? I'm gonna go see Magistrate Rago. turned away at the gate if we try to go there. Even a noble woman like you would have no chance of getting in. Yeah, but with a harbor barricaded, we can't cross over to Torum Harbor. And that thief Tadeki, along with that one-eyed giant, are both on the other side of the water. Let's stop blabbing about it and just go, why don't we? If you won't listen to it what sounds we good have to, to me. say, we can think of another plan. All right. Let's head to Rago's palace then. Finally. Oh. No matter how you slice it, Flynn is Flynn. He's even more stubborn than before. <laughs> you think so too, Repeat? <laughs> well, at least he seemed to be doing all right. Yeah. Okay, now that I have the full party back together, I can go over to the shop here and figure out some stuff. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Synthesis. I can make a scarf plus one, okay. None of these have anything new. This does have EXP share. He's already learned everything the Great Axe can teach him. He's already learned everything the Wood Maw plus one can teach him. They've both learned that. He's learned that. Okay. Make an attack ring. I 
Oh, I don't have the jet black ink I need for the sunglasses yet. <laughs> Make you look a bit smarter, but are definitely a pain to wear in pal. Do I want to waste 3,000 gold, almost 10% of my money, on these glasses? Kinda. <laughs> okay. Uh, he has that and has used both of those things. Okay, she has not learned either of those, and that's a big, big increase for her. So we'll grab one of those. He has not learned either of those. Uh, that's useless. She's learned both of those. She's learned both of those. Okay, so those two weapons we want. Uh, get her a circuit. Get him a helm. Get both of them. Chainmail. Crest guard. Silk cloak. Thief's jacket. I don't really need that for anything. Okay, there we go. Sometimes on that one screen, my the control gets really weird. Uh, <laughs> all the greeds, yes. What did I do that was greedy? Oh, the glasses. Did I not? Oh no, there wasn't a weapon for him. There was only. I haven't gotten any sub stuff yet. You'd have the attack ring. Give you the boots, these jackets. Oh, with the Chris Santa hat on her. That's cute, too. Most of those work pretty well with that emote. I'm happy about that. Do? Oh, nice. XP sure do. Earn bonus XP without taking part in battle. Oh, that's right. That's why Carol is starting to fall behind a little bit in level. Because all party members get a flat EXP for the fight, but there's, depending on how well you do in the fight, there's like a bonus amount that gets awarded, and only the ones who participate get that. Okay, yeah, I remember that mechanic now. Oh, shoot, so I guess that means when she learns this, I'll have to put... To be most efficient, I'll have to put her as the one O to the party until somebody else learns it too, because... That way everybody will get, be getting maximum experience. Actually, now that she has it on, I will. I can. I, I should do that. Realistically. I just bought a ton of stuff from you. Can you relax? 
Yeah, if you have EXP share, then I need to swap Carolyn. It's unfortunate, because I Rita's just really strong. I love mage type characters, but hopefully somebody else will learn XP share at some point. Oh. You Oh excuse me, young lady, can you spare a minute or two? Huh? You mean me? Yes, yes indeed. You think you might want to play a little stone-taking game with me? To make it interesting, I'll give you a nice present if you can beat me. What do you say? <gasps> mini games. I'm all about mini games. Hmm, well, why not? But are you sure? I'm pretty good at that kind of game. Ho ho, excellent. I've been looking for an opponent to give me a challenge. They call me the master. I won't go down without a fight. <sighs> do we really have time to be sitting and playing games? Yeah. Don't worry, I'll make short work of this geezer. Just wait and see. Oh, -ho. well then, shall we begin? Uh, let's play Fire Low. What? Guess the sum of the three dice rolled by the Dice Master. The sum is considered low if it's a number that falls between 3 and 10. It's considered high if it's a number that falls between 11 and 18. Player makes a guess on whether the sum will be a high or low number. Get three guesses correct in a row to win. It's game over if you miss even one. Oh my gosh. But are these two that have already rolled something I'm judging off of? Are we already at 10? Oh no, they haven't rolled yet. So it's just straight guessing. That's low. So I lost already. Frankly, after all that big talk, I was expecting a more impressive showing. But no, no, you've got it all wrong. I'm just feeling a little under the weather, is all. Oh, feel free to come back for a rematch when you're feeling better. A city where the magistrate can do whatever he wants really leaves a bad taste in your mouth. Yep. Looks like there's bound to be a few power mad imperials no matter where you go. What we saw on the way into town here, and that happened all the time back in the lower quarter. I'm glad I live outside the Empire. I don't think I could stand this very long. Why would the Magistrate do these things? Hey, we don't need to let the bad vibes in this city rub off on us. Exactly. All right. Oh my god, that would make you so frustrated. Yeah, it's... I don't really remember this much, but I was hoping when I first came up here that it would be a little better designed. Like, there would actually be a way to play and not just straight guessing. Let's try even or odd. It's the same thing, right? Except there's just going to be two dice. I guess the sum of two dice evens are odd, and it's so again, it's just 50-50 chances, and you got to get three right in a row. But we don't. It didn't make me pay anything to do it, so it's just like, what's the point? That's odd. Hey, Flynn said that mage Witcher was from Ospio, didn't he? Did you know him from before, Rita? Hmm... What do you mean, hmm? I get the feeling he might have passed through my field of vision once or twice. It's nothing more than a vague memory, though. I think I know why Witcher had such a chip on his shoulder. <laughs> Rita just doesn't pay attention to anyone. Okay. I don't really care which of them I play, it doesn't really matter. Let's try high again. That is high, right? No, shoot. 10 is low. 10 is low? Oh, yeah, 3 to 10 and 11 to 18, right? Hmm, perhaps I was wrong about you? Is it making me lose on purpose? Is there something going on here? Okay, that's high. So we got one. I need to get three right in a row. Going high again. Low. <laughs> Don't 
telling you, give up now, you're just going to keep losing. I can't stand it, I can't stand it, I can't stand it. I don't usually get along with knights, but Flynn was different. He seemed like a serious, capable sort of guy, you know? Yeah. Really? He seemed like a really stubborn by the rules kind of guy to me. Flynn's a good person who'll give anyone a helping hand when they have a problem. Maybe now. He raised some hell in the lower quarter back in the day. I can hardly imagine Flynn like that. <laughs> I'm gonna beat it. By going high. It's low so much more often than it is. It's been low like four times and high once. It's got it. It's got to go high eventually, right? That's low too. Again, this is very sus. I agree. It does feel very sus. I'm kind of I'm trying to verify that it's rigged right now. Soon here, I'm going to switch over to guessing low, and if it keeps, and if then all of a sudden it only does high, 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 then we'll know that it's probably cheating. of a bitch game. They're scamming me. Somehow. Even though it doesn't cost me anything, so it's not actually a scam. Okay, that's a low. Or should I guess high that time? That's low. Shoot. It's just low so much more often than it is high. I don't really... I guess three lows. Am I likely to get it? Nope. That's high. <sighs> see, I wish it was like... There was actually a game aspect to it. Like it was set up kind of like blackjack, where like we could see one dice roll, and then we had to guess, like with two more, whether it was going to be high or low, or like something along those lines. But this is just like, hey, pick a thing, and it. Okay, that's a low. What's that one supposed to be? Is that. Like a hand on the face? Like a hmm. Did it stay low again? It did. It's two in a row. Will it be three lows? Will it be three lows? It finishes with a high. Shoot. Oh, kind of like that? Yeah. Come on. Hi again. Are we back to... We're not back, but are we have we finally turned the corner and now we're getting more high than low? That's too high in a row, technically. Okay. 
Okay, there's a low. Let's try low again. Maybe low, low, high. Low, low, high. Come on now. There we go. Yeah, that's that's worth my time investment. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> yes, I've lost. I guess even someone with no skill can win eventually. There's no skill to this game, Yuri. Now for your prize, a delicious kiss from yours true. Oh my god, get away. Haha, <laughs> fooled you. No, I'm going to give you the title of new master. As news of my defeat travels, new challenges will appeal, hoping to steal your glory. Stay strong and don't lose, Ruta. That is the new stone-taking master, Ruta. What? To be continued next time in A New Assassin Lurks. To be continued? That's not likely. Ho 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 ho! If you ever feel like it, you're welcome to join me in my hobbies. Rita earned the new Dice Master title. Well, that was something that I spent some time doing. I feel that I took so many tries that I don't even want to put the title on her. Like, I don't think Rita would want to use that title. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, actually first, what does a lottery gel do? Maybe it's something good, maybe it's not. You won't know until you try it. <laughs> God damn it. I'm just running back to the inn, and because I'm gonna save. Because if, if for some reason like we get into like a hard fight when we head for, to the the magistrate's place, I don't want to like lose and then have to load and then not have that game beaten. All right, even though it's just that title on a couple of gels, I'd I'd still rather have it done than not done. So I just want to avoid having to go through it again. Well, Yuri, I hope you step on a Lego. Yeah, Yuri. Yuri's a dick. Not that way. This way. to meet with Magistrate Rago if you'd be so kind. Yuri! These men are mercenaries. I wonder what guild they're from. I guess that explains the thuggish look. Huh. Go home, Scram! The Magistrate is a busy man. Surely not is too he? busy to rough up the people in this town. Hey! You better watch your mouth, punk! See? I told you he wouldn't see us. Let's get out of here before things get sticky. I'd have to agree with Captain Carroll on this one. But there must be some other way. Forget it. Let's go. We'd best leave the frontal assault on the palace to the Imperial Knights. But isn't the fact that that's going so badly precisely what's got Flynn in such a bad mood? Maybe he'd see us if we came bearing gifts, so to speak. A gift? What do you mean? The rib guru. It's worth a fair amount of money, right? Come to think of it, that official mentioned the rib guru. He said that mm -hmm. someone with its horn would never have to worry about taxes again. If we brought something that valuable, the magistrate would at least grant us an audience. You propose to catch the rib guru? This is our chance! It's raining, after all! What does rain have to do with it? Yeah. 
The Rip Girl comes out of hiding when it's raining. Out of oh. all the monsters I know, it's the only one that goes out in the rain. Capital observation, Captain Carroll. What else? What do you mean, what else? That's all there is to it. So where's the Rip Girl now? The rain sounds so real in your headphones. Yeah, it's it's very it's it's quite good sound design for rain. Just as I thought. Well then, let's go talk Ooh, to the people in town and get their side of the story. I already talked to everyone in the Are town. Are you okay with this, Estelle? Yes, Yuri. If we're unlucky, this could put all of us on the wrong side of the law. Yeah. The one who makes the laws in this town is his lordship, the Empire's magistrate. You'd be okay with defying him? Made it sound like it's raining outside, you had to double check. <laughs> I'm going with you. I know it's not raining outside because it's cold enough here that if there was anything coming down, it would have to be snow right now. But I don't think we're supposed to get any more snow tonight. You're okay with it then? Yes. Rita, you don't have any problems with it? I have to say, I'm incredibly interested in a Blastia that can control the weather. Mm, you would and be. It's decided. So then, let's seek out the Rip Garo first. Okay, seems like a plan. So do I gotta talk to everybody again now? What do you have to say? A yellow rib girl. The horns of those yellows, of those with yellow skin, are more expensive. I think the yellow ones that I saw are more expensive. I'm scared. They're yellow monsters. I'm scared of rib girls. Okay, it's all right. Rib girl horns are a vital source of ki ki uh, a really important medicine. That's what the woman doctor in glasses with the white wolf puppy was saying. Anyway, the who? It's like an interesting, char interesting character design. What, Rib Girl? You're looking for ways to get out of paying taxes, too? I have no idea. That's your problem. Okay. That's all the same stuff you said before. Oh, Rib Girls? They like dark places. That's why they only come out on rainy days. That's the same thing. That's the same thing. Uh, that's all the same stuff. There's nothing down here. Actually, wait. Can I check? No, I can't check the wanted posters. Girls are monsters, aren't they? The monster may have been pregnant? What? Recently, Rib Girls come out to breed when it rains. On rainy days, the Rib Girls are wandering outside the barriers. They seem to appear in wooded areas. Okay, so I gotta go to the woods and wander around and try to fight a Rib Girl. You got me an apple gel, but you eat it? Well, it's the thought that counts, Tetris. I really appreciate that you, uh, you had one for me at one point, anyway. It's good to see you. Welcome in. How are you doing today? Finished The Mandalorian Season 2 today, though. It made the day a little better. Oh, yes! I also watched the finale today. Um, I thought it was pretty good. How did you like it, Mango? I've been loving this season. It's been excellent. You never could sit still, could you? Stop treating me like a little kid. Yuri, don't do anything reckless. I haven't done anything reckless since the day I was born. <laughs> That's such like a 
I'm clearly lying sort of statement. Like, anyone saying that obviously does reckless things all the time. I'm just chasing after a Blastia thief. Yuri. Love did it was a lot of yelling and a little crying. Made, has made you love Star Wars again. Yeah. Yeah, it's having that effect on a lot of people. Um, It's great after such a long time to see so much of the Star Wars fan base just responding really positively to something like everyone just seems really excited about it i mean there's always going to be some naysayers who, who find faults and things but uh but as a whole the fan base seems to be really really happy right now so i feel like the franchise is in a good place my friends hello doing okay just been cleaning got a new coffee accessory i'm a brew with oh nice that's exciting. You're the one who should ease up on trying to do the impossible, Flynn. What uh, what accessory did you get, and what effect is it going to have on your brewing? Search Blastia Laboratories. Uh, okay. They're trying to go through official channels. <sighs> I thought leaving the capital would have changed him a little. Flynn and, Yuri are, Flynn and Yuri are sort of a very classic uh, dichotomy or foils of one another because they're both sort of trying to achieve the same results in most situations. But Flynn is sort of the upstanding one who goes through all like the the appropriate channels, but that can often get him bogged down in like red tape. Whereas Yuri rarely gets credit for the things he does and often is doing them illegally, but will usually has sometimes better luck at actually getting them done. But it seems like he's even more reckless than before. Flynn? Yuri's so single-minded when it comes to protecting others. He's willing to sacrifice himself to do it. Mm hmm I envy him for that. But I also worry that he'll take it too far. Come on, Estelle. Let's go. Yuri's gonna leave us behind. Right. We should be going now. Oh, by the way, Lady Estelise. Yes? How... how is it, walking around outside, free? I can't say everything's been perfect, but... I realize that there are things I must do. And that makes me happy. It's been wonderful. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah, finding a purpose can absolutely be very, uh, very nice feeling. Oh, skip. Hey, Rita, what did Flynn mean about search and seizure rights to Blastia Laboratories? Oh, that. Basically, if you're on an official Imperial Blastia investigation, you can go anywhere you want. Are you serious? Why bust our butts when the Knights can do that? I don't think they can. There are plenty of exceptions that can block their authority. That sounds like what I've come to expect from the Empire. I don't really want to fight these extra enemies. I don't need to. My level is fine as it is. Although if they spot me, I guess I'll have to... Leave it to me! Quickly, quickly deal with them. If they only put out Star Wars TV shows, you'll be happy. You don't need any more movies. <laughs> yeah, I think they. I'm pretty sure when they had like the uh, Disney the investors presentation the other day, they did confirm that there are some movies coming, but it was mostly TV shows. I'm trying to remember. Because you've lived a lot longer, right? Not exactly. Um. 
Oh okay, yeah, they didn't they didn't say what it was going to be about or even give a title, but there is a new. There's definitely a, a film coming that's being directed by uh, Taiko Watiti, who uh, he did some guest work on Mandalore in a little bit, and he uh, he directed Thor Ragnarok. Uh, and he voiced actually the um, the droid from season one of the Mandalorian, I believe. Uh, it's a new steel filter instead of using paper ones. Oh, cool! It's a lot finer than the gold ones you sometimes get when you buy the new system. So this should be able to use most any grind. Oh, cool. Yeah, that'll be excellent. Uh, Clone Wars is pretty good animated if you haven't seen it yet. I have seen Clone Wars. Yeah, Clone Wars is excellent. I got a Taiko I'm excited about. Uh, I think he did the season finale. Yes. Yes, and the droid. Yeah, he's he's great. Uh, he does He does some really good work. Very unique uh, directorial feel to a lot of his stuff. Uh, that looks like the thing I'm looking for. This is Rimguru. Is it strong? I won't lose. I should probably. Uh... Edit, uh... I didn't set what I want Carol to do in, in boss situations. You move for the most part. Uh... Yeah, use your strike arts. Yeah, you can just go all in, honestly. I really just need Estelle to be safe. The others can kind of do whatever they want. I put it on boss, right? Okay. Now we're starting out. Keeps blocking. This isn't over yet. Okay, that wasn't long way to go. particularly difficult. Uh, I realized I got these. I got nervous because you had new emotes. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm so sorry that you have to feel worried now every time you get a new emote, love. Uh, I haven't looked at the 2020 set. There needs to be a "This is fine" emote. Yeah, that would be that would be a wonderful addition. Um. For context, there's one emote in particular in the new set that uh, Picto finds really creepy, and so she really doesn't want to unlock it. So whenever uh, whenever she gets some new emotes, it's it's worrisome. Or if support would remove it. Oh, I don't know if you could just contact them and be like, yeah, I really don't like this emote. Can you take it off of my... Can you remove access to it? But it is terrifying. I mean... Yeah, she's she's not wrong. <laughs> the mask makes it look like it's gonna eat you. <laughs> it's covered in scars and bruises. I feel kind of sorry for it. I reckon it's been attacked by desperate townspeople quite a few times. It's not the people in town's fault. No, I understand. Yuri? 
Oh yeah, there was the the snowman find from last year. <laughs> the horn is what's so valuable, right? This will be enough to satisfy that money grubbing magistrate. Wow, it's not like you to show pity to a monster. While you guys are busy talking, the monster's getting up. What? Why did it run away? You can remove a Steam game from your library, but not a key. AKA, they'll remove the game, but if you repurchase it, you'll have the old key from first purchase. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. It understood what we were thinking. The monster did? Seriously? Hey, we got the horn. Who cares either way? Golden horn. I had a game here where multiplayer servers were end of life. And I bought one for you and your partner, but only partner could play online. Oh! Hmm. That's unfortunate. Yeah, that one is that one's quite cute. The more you know, cuz knowledge is power. Wait, you can't go out again after that girl went through the trouble of healing your wounds. Where are you off to with that dangerous weapon? That's no business of yours. I can't have you sticking your nose into my affairs just because you're curious. Francis Bacon? Is that a reference I'm not familiar with? I'll just power Francis Bacon. Oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> Sorry for stealing your thunder back at the inn. Maybe this will make it up to you. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Hold on. You're just giving it to them? Yeah, no, yeah, I remember, love, the uh, the Reddit post, and then... Because the one person was so confused by the saying, but he thought, like, it was... Whenever he would say knowledge of power, people would respond with Francis Bacon, but... They weren't actually saying Francis Bacon. It's a small price to pay. I remember now. Life. You were planning on doing this from the beginning, weren't you? Nope, it just came to me. You do realize that you just gave away our gift for the magistrate, right? Now what do we do? We'll figure it out, Rita. We'll just find some other way to get into the magistrate's place. Shall we see how Flynn's doing that? Yeah, maybe he's even gotten into Rago's palace already and set things straight. Doubtful. Yeah, that sure would be nice. Let's go pay a visit to the inn. Lard Baron was his name. May <laughs> finish that is set the place on fire. Oh no. 
we probably shouldn't set anything on fire, at least not right now. That might be the strategy we have to go for with the Magistrate's place eventually, though. You're looking chipper as always, Flynn. I've got a lot on my mind, Yuri. Not that you'd know what that's like. Oh. <laughs> Managed to go out and get your bounty raised even higher? I thought you went to the Magistrate's place. I went. Along with a search warrant from the Blastia Research Lab. And? Ah, so you were able to go inside and look around. No. The Magistrate refused us entry. Why? He even tried to provoke us. If you really think I have Blastia, try to bust your way in, he said. He knows we don't have the jurisdiction to do that. He's just making a mockery of us. Well, isn't he right? What did you say? Yuri, whose side are you on? It's not a matter of whose side I'm on. If you think you're right, you should force your way inside. No, it's a trap. Rigo wants the Imperial Guard to make a mistake so he can use it as an excuse to increase the authority of the Council. If we go in now, he'll hide the evidence and feign innocence. Yeah, it was Lord Baron. He's still active? Oh, cool. Is Magistrate Rigo on the Council as well? Yes. The Imperial Knights and the Council are both essential organizations that support the Empire. But Rigo seems to have forgotten this fact. So in short, we're not dealing with your everyday magistrate here. Well, have you got a plan for what you're doing next? <sighs> what, you're out of ideas? If there were some sort of disturbance inside the palace, the Imperial Knights would be able to move in under the pretense of emergency prerogative. Ah, yes. The Imperial Knights may employ emergency prerogative to intervene in emergency situations, regardless of jurisdiction. So we just need to make an emergency situation happen inside the Magistrate's place. Of course. So if a thief snuck in and caused a ruckus, that'd be enough? Yuri, I know you want to help, but... I wonder how many that sees him in the comments and go, <laughs> Francis Bacon. <laughs> <laughs> There's worse things to be known for, certainly. Oh, so a fire, exactly. But I shouldn't do anything reckless, right? I've just received a tip that a fugitive with a warrant out for his arrest is trying to get into the Magistrate's palace. Oh, he doesn't think it was that funny? That's unfortunate. I have no choice but to ask you for your help. Please. Oh, wow. Harry, don't be foolish. Don't think you can talk that way just because you're a council member. Do you know who I am? Wait, what? No, pardon me. Oh, okay. He's... Witcher's just reminiscing about the Magistrate kicking him out. I was like, what? We're not a council member. What do you mean? New server saves. Do I need to stock up on anything? Mm, I don't think so. I got plenty of stuff. The only thing I potentially be, would be worried about is life bottles. I really need a stell. I assume it will be a stell to learn some sort of a resurrection spell and then I'll be fine but so do I go over here to the front gate this doesn't seem like a good way to sneak in is there some way I can like go around oh there's nobody guarding oh no they're there they just hadn't loaded in yet I can't go over to the side here let's me do anything? This place seems to get bigger every time I look at it. Are members of the council really that important? They think they are. The council is a body of nobles which aids in the political administration of the empire. Which means they basically represent the empire's interests. Huh, you don't say. 
So what about getting inside? Shall we see if there's a back entrance? Tough luck. Place is surrounded by a wall, and there's no getting inside unless you can clear it. <laughs> This fellow. Um, now, for those who missed, uh, it would have been, I guess, in the very first stream playing this game. But this guy we saw briefly. We don't know his name, but he was in uh, the Imperial Jail in the capital when Yuri got thrown in there. And then after he got taken out by somebody important, uh, he slipped Yuri a key so Yuri could get out. But we don't know anything else about him other than that. And now he's just popping up again out of the blue. Still look out, you about to get booped? Yeah, he's he's clearly trying to trying to do something here. You won't last long if you go screaming in a spot like this, your ladyship. I'm sorry, but who are you? What do you mean? Me and the kid there are old friends, right, pal? <laughs> he's Eric. He's he's someone, all right. What are you looking at? I barely know this guy. Now, now, don't be like that. What about the fun times we had in jail, Mr. Yuri Lowell? Huh? I don't remember telling you my name. See? You're a celebrity, Yuri. So what's your name, mister? Huh? Ah, right. I suppose Raven will do for now. Raven? For now, huh? Who the hell does this guy think he is? Well, Raven, it's been lovely seeing you again. Now buzz off. Ah, oh, come on. You're trying to get into the palace, right? You just leave it up to old Raven. Shouldn't we stop him? Actually, he pulled a trick like this that helped me get out of the castle. Really? Well, then maybe we can trust him. I'd like to hope so. Maybe. It's pretty alarming and sus that he uh, just they're coming popped up here. out of nowhere. <laughs> but, but why? <laughs> the backflip thumbs up. A diversion. There she goes again with the magic. Now what? When do they smooch? I'm not sure. We will have to wait and see. <laughs> hey, Bellanova. Welcome in. It's good to see you. How are you doing today? What else? We just got rid of the guards and all. Whoa, not the front door. Let's see if we can get in from the side. Okay. Won't let me go explore the other side. That's okay. Well, what's this? Paralysis ward? I'll take it. Panacea bottle? I'll take it. Hey, hey, so we meet again. Glad to see you're okay. Catch you later. Wait. <laughs> it's going down? I don't believe this. You can't control it from down here. <laughs> nice to hear me too. Is your last day of teaching for Christmas? Now for the games. Oh, nice. Oh, that's great to be on break. Uh, something do you, uh, rank. Do you have any specific games that you're really excited to get into during your time off? Or uh, are you just sort of going to play it by ear and play whatever you feel like at the time? Blood, along with something else? It smells rotten.
I wonder if he's into raising monsters, too. Could be. He had Ribgaro after all. Uh, uh, help me! <gasps> Did we find the missing child? Sounds like someone's there. Let's go. Hey, you! Bring that raven creep to me right now! Huh? Why do I have to do that? You're friends with him, right? I told you I hardly know the guy. Oh, really? You met him in jail, right? That's pretty shady if you ask me. I can't really argue with that. I think he's kind of strange, but he didn't seem bad to me. I don't think he's all that good, either. Saw someone playing Airborne Kingdom, you want to try it? Oh, okay. Interesting. I'm not... I don't think I've heard of that. Oh, you're behind the text, I see now. <laughs> uh, oh, I forgot. Is this where I normally have my... Is this where I want my webcam for Vesperia? Oh, I'm behind the... Text caption, I see. Yeah, maybe this is not where I want my webcam. I mean, those can be moved, but... Yeah, they can be moved, but... I'm covering up the, uh... One of the characters' stats, their health. I'm trying to think of... Oh, we open up their menus, what else goes where? If I went top right, I'd be covering the... The combo counter, which is not that big a deal. If I... Uh... Sorry that the sound went away for a second while I'm in OBS. Maybe up just a little bit, like here-ish? I'll get into another fight right away and we'll see if that looks a little better. Okay. Can't quite make out the the number. Maybe up slightly more then. It's okay. Yeah, I'd like to. I just keep getting stronger. Just a smidge higher. Just a smidge. Oh. Okay, can I pause? There we go. Just have to make the kids face when when they do the attacks. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure if I'm quite quite talented enough to do that on the fly while also paying attention to the battle. Don't get sloppy. There we go. Now, now that number can be made out. Uh, ah, ah. Normal. Ah. Oh, he's got his eye. Uh, can't talk with my mouth. <laughs> That was my best effort, and I'm probably not going to do it again. <laughs> well, best effort might be a little, a little bit of an exaggeration. That was an effort. Uh, okay, so wait. Oh, okay, so I can go through either of these doors. Can't go this way. That's the left we came in. Okay, so do I go up or right? Is this going to be a maze? Do I have to pay attention here to where I'm going? Possibly. Probably. Ah! 
Oh, but we found the kid. Everything's going to be okay. Can you tell me what happened? A scary old man brought me here. He said it was because Papa and Mama couldn't pay their taxes. Do you think that this is the kid from before? How horrible. All of these bones. Could the monsters have done this? Papa, Mama, I want to go home. <laughs> it's okay. Everything's okay now. What's I'm directly covering the child right now. <laughs> Those sounds were perfection. Oh, thank you, Mango. I appreciate that. Polly? Polly is his name. Come on, Polly. Be a big boy. No more crying. You'll see your mom and dad soon. Okay. You are the child? Oh, was I supposed to be acting out the child's facial expressions too? My bad. You want revenge? Yuri, don't be a toxic masculine man. Crying is okay. True. Very true. Can't leave an item behind. Be wasteful. I got a little worked up. Three roots we can go this time. I won't lose. That was easy. Nice. Okay, so go left first. Okay, blocked. Can't go that way. Go up again. Blocked. Okay. That's quite all right. I don't mind finding dead ends. This looks easy. Don't get careless. We finished them off. I finished them off. Which door does it open? Great. Too many. We'll get no, it's fine. Way. 
Get them all in. Not a problem. So we found that key. There's been two locked doors that we've seen so far. Yeah, I beat you in the next week. There's no other route out of this room. Okay, so this is another dead end. Uh, do I want to go back and check the one other door that I saw in the first room? And then come back and check these with the key? I feel like I should do everything that's unlocked first, and that, cause the key probably takes me where I need to go, right? So I think if I just quickly... Hopefully this, cause there's no there's no down passage here. Yeah. Hopefully this passage to the right doesn't turn into like a whole lengthy excursion. And it's just like another couple of rooms, maybe. Or. This is a bit of a clusterfuck. <laughs> or one huge room. Just turns out to be the boss fight. Still, can I get some heals? Oh, you're running from a monster. Could someone go assist her? Lots of level ups and skills learned. There's one other enemy. Okay, so there's no other exits from this room, so it's just chests. Perfect. So coming here was the right decision, I think. Ow, can you stop? Okay, can you stop, like, chain staggering me? Bats. Get out of here, Zubat. Repeat, that was awesome. Repeat, that was wonderful. <laughs> Magic lens. So I'm just probably just maxed on those now. I guess I should need to use those a little more liberally. Night Sword? Hello. Okay. Ooh, EXP share, so I could 
potentially also leave him out of the battle now. Uh, taunt with left stick down to fill the overlimit page. Action differs from taunt too. Okay. Uh, I may as well actually quickly top up health. Now, is this key to this door or the one at the other hallway? Okay, not this one. Key broke, you can't use it anymore. Great. Key. Okay. Yuri learned a uh, another move, right? Dragon Swarm, which I don't have bound to anything yet. Let's put that on. Okay, Dragon Swarm's decent, but. It can be interrupted part way through, which is kind of annoying. This? No, this Solid. isn't scary. Your legs are shaking. You're kidding. Yeah. Is there nothing else in this room except for that key that I was just supposed to get? I guess I'll just clear out the last enemy just for the hell of it. These fights are giving decent experience, so... Man, I was just getting warmed up. At least I think, actually. What, uh... I haven't checked my TNLs in a while. Okay, so they're, like, what, roughly 3k or so for full? So 100 XP is worth, worth grabbing. This must go to here, right? Reminded all of you that you're great and know you, love. Save. Oh, got a cutscene. Well, well, what do we have here? More delicious snacks for my pet, it seems. Excuse me? You're a girl. You've got some pretty disgusting hobbies. Hobbies? Oh, you must mean my basement. Only someone with my refined sensibilities could understand the pleasure I derive from such things. You're just like those senile old fools on the council. They bored me to death and never let me enjoy myself. It's the privilege of my exalted station to dispel such boredom with the help of the common people. You can't mean that's your only reason to do those things. Well, 
I suppose I should go and fetch Ribgoro. So many new toys. He had to put on quite a show. Though you may not live long enough to see it. There's no point in searching for Ribgoro. We've already taken care of him. What did you say? Are you deaf? I said we've already taken care of him. You... what have you done to my pet? If you had put a bell on it or something, maybe you wouldn't <laughs> have lost track of it. Ah, oh, well, with a bit more money, I'll soon be able to replace him. Rago, how can you say such things and still call yourself a servant of the Empire? Hey, McD, welcome in. It's good to see you. How are you doing today? What? You? But that's impossible. Impossible. Stay back! What do you intend to do? Someone! Arrest these intruders! We'll have enemies all over the place if we don't hurry up and finish what we came to do. What did we come to do? Aren't we just breaking in so that Flynn would have an excuse to raid the place with the knights? <laughs> we didn't really have an actual objective in here, did we? Hold it. Doing well, fired up Animal Crossing. Nice. What? Don't we need to create an emergency for the knights to respond to? <gasps> Did Mango call it? Is Rita about to start a fire? It's still too soon. First, we need some evidence. That was the the fire color for her spell. For her fire We've got spell. to find the Blastia that controls the weather. Yuri had to put a damper on things, though. Got rid of all the cockroaches and weeds. That is excellent. Making progress. Inconceivable. Uh, okay. Wait. Um, before we head upstairs and, and do the next phase of this, uh, I guess this is technically a dungeon. Kinda, that we're in. Um... Before we proceed with it, uh, I'm just going to take a quick, quick break to to grab some water and stretch. I've been going for a little over two and a half hours, which is usually around when I take my break in the middle of stream. Uh, so I will be I will be back very shortly. Now you're confused about where ornaments come from? You just, you just shake them out of the trees. You know, they just... Trees just grow infinite ornaments. Oh yeah, specifically the Caesars with lights, that's true. I shouldn't be just say the trees, because there's a lot of different kinds of trees in Animal Crossing. Um, but yeah, uh, so I strongly urge all of you to do uh, a little bit of self-care, if you if you can. Whether you need a drink or a snack, or to, to stretch, or, or just tell yourself that you're proud of yourself. You know, whatever you need in this moment, uh, do something for you. And I'll be back shortly.
Hello, hello. Uh, the armaments stack in groups of 32. Yes, that is very nice. Um, so much better than like all the 10 stack event items that they've had for a lot of the previous events. Oh yes, yeah. My storage was full for months and months, and uh, I was very glad that they released that upgrade to the storage capacity. I hope they do more in the future, because I, I don't think it's going to take me that long for that to fill up either. I want to do something different, but you don't know uh, what to do with your island? Hmm. I don't know, love. Gotta warm my hands up a little bit. Okay. Let's get this over with. Oh, we got average roll strike now too. I recognize that move. Uh, just want a new building because I don't know what to, new additions you can make. Oh, true. The best defense is a good offense, or so I've read. I never played any of the previous games, but I um apparently you used to be able to upgrade the various rooms in your house. Like in addition to just adding them on, you could also upgrade them as well. That sounds really cool. I hope that's something that they might consider adding in the future. My villager rents you so they can buy ugly furniture you're holding? I mean... It'll be a hundred years before you can beat me. At least, at least you're making the money. <laughs> uh, what did Jerry just learn? As your wolf strike, right? Oh yeah, because he starts learning combination moves that are... Yes, that's right. Sad the side rooms aren't bigger. Mm. So is this upper area just the same as the down area? And that it's just, again, a bunch of square rooms laid out in a grid? I'm not against it, but it's not the greatest level design. In the museum, they had the ability to have like display exhibits where you decorate the rooms however you want. Oh, yes. That's also very cool. I'm still waiting on those vegetables they promised us back in the beginning of summer. I cleared a spot on my island specifically for a vegetable field, and they still haven't given vegetables. Now, I've since used the spot for growing far too many pumpkins, and now it's where I make my snowmen, but. Small greatsword key. Uh, you're really hoping for that because you wanted to have, like, seasonal rooms based around the trains? Oh, yes, I remember you talking about that idea. Ooh, a gladius. 
Uh, has Yuri finished learning the stuff on his current weapon? No, not even close. Oh, the Gladius isn't for him, though. Is the Gladius for you? It is. Oh, okay. You don't have the ability to use items right now, Estelle? I guess that makes sense, because you're the healer, so you just use your heals instead. Increase max TP, that's nice. May or may not still have a bunny to room because of the S rank. Oh yeah. Mm hmm Yeah, the sets are the sets are the way to go for that. Just become a Thanksgiving chicken. Might just stay that way forever. Hey, nothing wrong with that. Thanksgiving stuff's quite nice. Oh, so I needed that key to even come this way, so it's it's all still fairly linear so far, even though it has like the appearance of being maze-like. <laughs> what a beautiful view! <laughs> Who's there? What are you doing over there? What does it look like? I'm hanging around enjoying the scenery, maybe. Okay, I love her. She's great. Oh, yeah? I could have sworn you'd been captured. <laughs> um, I think she has been captured, actually. No, I haven't. Shiver me timbers. I know you. Um, your name was, uh, Jack. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't. I'm Yuri. What's your name? Patty, huh? We met in front of the mansion, didn't we? Oh, that's right. You couldn't forget the warmth of my hand and came a chasing after me. <laughs> hey, what were you doing here? If any of you want to see a lightly decorated island with a TARDIS in the middle of red tulips, you're welcome to stop by. Oh, nice. I'm hunting for treasure. Treasure? In a place like this? Well, I guess it wouldn't be odd for that black-hearted geezer to have filched some treasures. No, so probably not. So what do you not. do, Patty? I'm an adventurer. In any case... It's dangerous for a little girl to wander around a place like this all by herself. I'm an adventurer. <laughs> She's right. Why don't you come with us? I still ain't found no treasure. Maybe it isn't my place to say this, but you sound less like an adventurer and more like a thief. An adventurer is one who always carries the spirit of curiosity and the desire to push into the unknown. Fair. So while I may look like a thief, I'm actually nothing of the sort. <laughs> it's not like I really care anyway. Well, if you're going to keep hunting for treasure, I won't stop you. What are you going to do? There probably ain't no treasure left in this mansion anyway. She's saying she'll come with us. Okay, then let's go. Oh. I want those! <laughs> 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 I hate that I miss him like every hit when he's getting up. Too many iframes. That's okay. Uh, okay, there's only the one door to here. Oh, 
It'll be a hundred years before you can beat me. Because you've lived a lot longer, right? Not exactly. <laughs> Not exactly. One use taunt again. Just let left stick down. Okay. What? Oh, there's a path over here. I didn't see that door. the key I needed. Is there... Yeah, there's chests in here. Melange gel? Other whip. Go on. Uh, you're still learning EXP share, so I can't put that on you yet. Lewd. Oh! <laughs> 
need. I just keep getting stronger. Nice. I'm surprised you managed to wander around a mansion crawling with such dangerous guys all on your own. The treasure be worth it, even if it means putting myself in great danger. What kind of treasure is it? It's the great treasure that was hidden by Eifried. Okay, so they tie her in with Eifried. That makes a lot of sense. Eifried is a... um. Even though like the Tales games mostly take place in different, completely different worlds, Eifried is a recurring name uh, in a lot of Tales games, and he was he's always like takes the form of like a legendary pirate who like hid treasure all over the place, and so it um, most games will have like some form of like treasure hunts to to find the stuff that he hid. Freed? As in, the legendary pirate I freed? So he's famous? You, you haven't heard of him? He's an unspeakable villain who ravaged the seas. I freed, the boss of the pirate guild Siren's Fang. Okay. The Imperial Knights are after him for attacking an immigrant ship and slaughtering hundreds of civilians. None know his whereabouts. But many say he's already died. It's known as the Black Hope Massacre. I've heard that it was an utter nightmare. Why are we just, like, zooming in on her right now? How far will this zoom in before it stops? Kind of curious. Okay, it seems like that far. It stopped now, right? Yeah, it has. Okay. Well, that's what they say. Hmm. What's the matter? <laughs> Big bug eyes. Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> what do you want all that treasure for, anyway? What do I want it for? Shouldn't that be obvious? I'm going to find that legendary treasure and become a famous adventurer. Okay. Even if it means putting yourself in great danger? That's the life of an adventurer. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of fun. I don't think I've ever been as self-assured about my life's purpose or goals as this child. <laughs> Fun, eh? Then how about it, matey? Wanna join up with me? It sounds right up my alley, but I'll pass on that. I don't really have time to spare. You're a cold one, Yuri. Even colder than a shark skin. <sighs> uh, shark skin? But I like that about ye. Uh, you do? B wait. Does that mean Patty and Yuri or I it's love at first sight. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, With a yeah. wink though. I don't think that's such a good idea. Love at first sight. Ugh, whatever. Can we just hurry up and get out of here? <laughs> Nothing down, so there's only the one exit to this room. 
Other than the one you came in, of course. Well, this is different than the previous rooms. Is this the Blastia we're looking for? Strim, Latos, Rockra, Fleck. They just patched together Blastia with different formulas. This formula could manipulate the weather, but how could they use them like this? It's just like at Emmied Hill. They don't have the slightest respect for what they're working with. This is just what we need for evidence. Rita, shouldn't you finish that later? <laughs> just a bit more. I just need to check a few more things. You can have Flynn give you a look at it after we're done. Let's get busy with our emergency. Let's just break something that won't be missed. She has a gun? No, you're gonna stay right here. Oh? <laughs> Let's just break something that won't be missed, says Estelle. So Carol immediately starts knocking down a supporting pillar. <laughs> Oh, and Rita's just gonna light Jeez. everything on fire. What got into you all of a sudden? We've got to give those knights a good reason to show up, don't we? Yes, but I don't know if we should. Oh, come on! This is exactly how you put evildoers in their place! Really? What a way to behave in someone else's home. The time has come for you to earn your keep. I want all of them captured. Whatever happens, though, take care not to kill the young lady. No way! Are these guys from the Blood Alliance? And here's another one for you! That's enough. We're getting out of here. What are you talking about? I'm not finished yet. If we don't leave now, we'll run into Flynn. And I'd rather not deal with that. You don't seriously think he'll come that quickly. Magistrate, I don't know what's happened here, but allow us to offer our assistance. Flynn! There, see? Huh. <laughs> He's certainly enthusiastic. He is. Whoa! Is that the Dragon Rider? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> There's a lot of plot threads coming together right now. <laughs> Dragon Rider, you rang? I'm not a dragon.
<laughs> Damn, he'll get away. Prepare my ship. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> There's so much going on in this scene. Chest right there. Dragon Rider? More like Dragon Freak. Hurting my Blastia like that. Dragon Freak? <sighs> you know, Rita, that Blastia wasn't even yours. Anyway, why do you think someone would go around destroying Blastia? That's a good question. I'd like to sit down and pick that Dragon Rider's brain sometime. As if you could have a normal conversation with someone like that. This is where we have to part ways. You're gonna go get that bad Rago person, aren't you? Yeah, we want to try to. It's okay. I can go home by myself. There's a good boy. You shouldn't go running into danger anymore either, okay? Got it. She's not gonna listen to that at all. I don't think she actually got it. Estelle, what's the matter? I still can't believe the Magistrate could do such terrible things. Sadly, it's pretty common. Haven't you already seen what the Empire's capable of several times on this trip already? While well, you guys are having a nice little chat, Rago's escaping in his ship! I never thought we would meet the Dragon Rider in Rago's palace! That was a dragon? I'd never seen a monster like that before. Yes, it had a very different feeling to it than any monster I'd ever seen. I wonder where it flew away to after that. I'll bet it has a hideout somewhere, but we don't have enough information oh, to find excuse it. Excuse me. Enough! Enough with that dragon freak! Just thinking about that jerk makes me furious! <laughs> hey, I'm at. Uh, okay, let's save. Let's jump down to our this save here. Uh, now they said he's escaping on his ship. Okay, it's gonna force me to, to only go the one direction. Did I miss anything along this way? I'm just gonna let me walk all the way back out to town? Surely not. Can't get back in that way. Oh, a mat! Exciting stuff. How far is it going to let me walk back? I don't really need to go to town for anything, but I'm just kind of curious. Looking upon such a sight, one forgets all their bothersome daily cares. I guess it would let me go back and buy better gear if I needed it for some reason. I don't, but... Sorry about that, just wandering away to, to not accomplish anything. I just, I often get curious in games that are like, in like story locked sections where it'll let you go and where it won't let you go. We all made These that jump. That's pretty impressive. Why are there so many? And they're all just cores. I have no idea. We don't even have this many at the laboratory. Could this be connected to the core thief? Quite Could possibly. Be. But I thought the one behind everything was a huge guy with one eye. That doesn't fit Rego at all. 
then he might not be the only one pulling the strings. I wonder if the core from the lower quarter is here someplace. Sorry, none of these are big enough. I knew it! These guys are with the Blood Alliance! They're one of the five master guilds! Okay. They don't seem very tough. Are these guys connected to the Blastia Thief too? Just what is the Magistrate up to? Of kids? Oh, a large person with one eye. This fellow seems to fit that description. One-eyed giant. So you're the one getting people to bring you all these cores? Maybe I am. It's <laughs> a big sword you're he's quick, got there. And you got guts too. Very monster hunter. My arm's gonna feel that. Wish I had you in my guild. How flattering. But it's pushy guys like you I have to watch out for. Upsets the harmony of the guild, see? Nothing personal. Barbos, what are you waiting for? Dispose of these brats. I did all the work you paid me for. Besides, the knights will be here soon. Rather not have those guys following me around. Next time we meet, you kids won't be getting off so easy. We're all on a boat together. Where are you going to go? Wait! He's still inside! Damn! Zoggy, we'll leave the rest to you! Oh shit. Is another Zoggy fight? Zoggy. You're the one from the castle. Oh, the app crashed. Oh no, love. I'm sorry. Hope it's working all right now. Looks like we're stuck with this guy. My blade. It aches to kill. I've got to kill something. on me this time. Uh, okay, I absolutely want to be on my boss strategy for Zoggy, and uh, we'll start out with the Stell Barrier Theory. Oh, nope. shoot. I will. So you should probably back to barrier all of our frontline characters. Please, we have to catch Rago. <laughs> you can't hurt me. So we'll just keep pounding you until the end. Stun is not good. Okay. Uh, do I have anything that can get rid of that? Physical and magical ailments. That'll probably... I keep hitting the wrong thing. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
And then you use on yourself a nectar bottle. Wait, what does that do? Magical elements. Is I don't think stun is magical. I think it's a physical element. Is it not? Whatever, I've got 15 of these. Couldn't hurt. Toss a, uh... Nope, not that. Uh, magic Lens is doggy for me. Okay, 31k. Almost got him to half. Weak to water. Uh, does Yuri have anything water? No, not yet. Uh, none of you probably do. Thinking about it. You have Lightning Wave, which he's partially resistant to, so I guess I can turn that off. But otherwise, I don't think. Yeah, no fire, no water. Okay, that's alright. That was some good damage with the with the over limit there. Well, I'm in the well, I'm in the corner here a little bit. Okay, he over limited, so he's gonna break out easily with that. That's okay. Got him. That wasn't too bad, to be honest. Uh, might need to put your phone down and stuff. That's okay, love. I hope you get some good rest and feel better. I'm probably not going too, too much later tonight. I mean, well, maybe like another... I'd say another hour max, but maybe not even that long. Um, I hope you have an amazing night as well. I feel power running all through my body. Oh, I feel so powerful. Should have leveled up. Oh, only those two? Okay. I was thinking a thousand would have potentially gotten oh, everybody, that but hurts. Oh, are you on fire? Oh, you put up a good fight. Retreated. <laughs> You're tough. Yes, tough. You're definitely tough. I certainly won't forget that, Yuri. I'm going to kill you, Yuri. I'm gonna carve you into little pieces. Don't move a muscle. Zoggy. What? It's sinking! Everyone into the water! <coughs> Is anyone there? Yuri! Esteles! No! But. but. shut up and jump! Everybody okay? I am, but Yuri. Huh? Where's Rapid? Yuri! Thank goodness. Oh man, that 
salty. I must have drank a bucket full. Who's that? Yoder! What? You know him? Look! A boat! We're saved! Hey! Over here! It looks like everyone made it through unharmed. Master Yoder! Who? Wait! I'll pull you out! Sodia, give me a hand! It's very impressive that Yuri can just hold another person like that so stably while treading water. It takes a lot of strength. <laughs> Thanks. You saved my life. Hey, who is this guy? Um, well, you see... I've made arrangements at the inn. We can discuss things further there. He'll come, won't you? for when the ship sank with you still on it seriously i was pretty worried there for a minute i'm glad you made it it sank faster than i thought it would i was a little freaked out myself you almost died and you were just a little freaked out there's something <laughs> wrong with you we never saw repeat in that scene did we everybody else was treading water and repeat was just not there eh, as long as he's fine Uh, okay, so over there, what do you have to say? Yay, <laughs> blonde knight has eternal hair breeze. Oh yeah, Flynn. Flynn's hair is always moving. How else will he charm everyone with his dashing, heroic, knightly behavior? Uh, Empire's worships are wonderful. The design, color, and cool knights I'm in love. Okay, that's fine. We're not, we're kind of anti-Empire, but you do you. Oh ho ho ho! That was too many hoes. Aren't ships a delight? A ship allows one to travel so many, so very many places. Thrills, mystery, spectacle, all mine. Warehouse, I can't go in there yet. What do you have to say? This is the Fortunes Market Stock Warehouse. It's a mess in there, trust me, you don't want to see it. We know someone from Fortune's Market. We met um, we met the guild master of Fortune's Market back at Dayton Hold. I wonder if we'll, we'll see her again. You came on an Empire warship? Are you some kind of Imperial big shot? You don't really look it. Uh, oh, Zagi. Yuri, you sure know a lot of strange people. Like that raven guy we met at Kapua Noor? Or that Zoggy weirdo who attacked us. Weirdo is putting it mildly. What's his deal, anyway? That's what I'd like to know. It's nice to have fans, but this is ridiculous. It looked like he went down with the ship, though. Maybe that was the last of him. I don't know. Common sense just doesn't seem to apply to those kinds of people. Man, I really don't want to see him again. Well, even if we do, he'll be gunning for Yuri, not us. I've got nothing to do with this. We'll deal with that when the time comes. I like how Estelle, the character who's even like multiple times lamented about all the monsters we have to fight and that we have to like kill them and stuff. When it comes to Zagi, she's like, well, you know, maybe he's dead. <laughs> oh, Wonder Chef. Guess you found me. You're pretty good. I'll teach you to cook as a reward. What are we getting? Fried chicken and fries. Delicious. Gotta go till we meet again. There's something exploding on the sea? What could it be? Yeah, it was a ship that we were on. Don't worry about it. 
I've seen quite a few men row off to sea in a boat. None of them has been back since. None of them? That's alarming. No one returns to your town? Out on the sea I heard a terrible noise. I could see a lot of smoke. Could it have been an accident? In a way, it was accidental. In another way, it was very much what we intended. Can I not walk on this game plank? No, I guess I can't. It's okay. Oh, who are you? You saw. We're going to close down the Capuanor port. So now we can't even run our liner service. I'm not going to elongate those hours. I'm sorry. This. Yeah, this is all closed in over here, right? Could I go in here? Lightkeeper's house. It's locked. Okay. Torum Orphanage is written on the side of the entrance. A lot of children are playing and having fun inside. Okay. The sailors in my day had a bit more zest to them, you know? And folk nowadays are good for nothing. Well, that's just... Okay, Boomer. This port is the bridge that connects our guild to the world. We're going to travel across the sea, or across the six continents, and rule the entire world. Not that anything special would happen if we ruled the world, I guess. I feel like. I'm not down with anyone whose plan is to rule the world. Many different guilds make their headquarters here. The most powerful among them is supposed to be the Blood Alliance, but... But what? Hmm, mercenaries, I just don't know. Oh, you just don't like the Blood Alliance, okay. But they are the most powerful. Let's see what you're saying. Uh, I don't want to go in there yet, I don't think. Let's continue exploring and talking to everybody. Fortune's Market uses this town as their base of operations. There aren't any heavy taxes like in Capuanor, but there are a lot of restrictions on business. Would like to rule a city maybe or a trade guild? Yeah, something something reasonable and manageable sized, right? But like, a world? That just seems ambitious for the sake of ambitious. Do you know what these plants are? They're all indigenous to the Tolbikian tropics. On this continent, strong rains fall frequently. Good day, do you want to know what's... Yes, give me some recipes. Morning star plus one, leather... Okay, good. Lots of good stuff. Ooh, these are new. Uh, Sub-weapons. Do you see the section titled Sub under the Equipment Menu? Yes, I've seen it. In addition to main weapons, each character can also equip a sub-weapon. For instance, Yuri can equip gloves, and Rapide can equip collar-type items as a sub-weapon. Yeah, I've noticed that. I guess if a planet was as small as the Little Prince's rule in the world would be easy? Well, that's... That's true, I suppose. When I say the world, I'm specifically, I guess, my mind's jumping to, like, a world of similar size to ours, but... I suppose, yeah, it depends on your world. And I guess if you're talking about, like, any sort of, like, interstellar type civilization, then all of a sudden a world doesn't seem so, like, so much. I guess rather than it being a world specifically, I, um, I guess against more anyone who has the idea that they just want to rule everything that they currently know about right so if if you're on a if you're in a one planet type situation and they want to rule the whole planet well that's that's the everything at that point and that's too much right but if you're in an interstellar situation and you want to rule the whole galaxy well then that's that's too much but maybe one planet at that point is kind of kind of not so big a deal sub weapons are extremely valuable and are not sold in shops they can only be made through synthesizing okay 
is worthwhile to create sub weapons. They have skills which you will find useful in your journey. Also, sub weapons can affect the character's appearance. Try giving them a new look. Cool. I I've already synthesized with equipped weapons, so this probably isn't anything new for me. Uh, like in Skies of Arcadia, the world of land to control was pretty small. I I'm pretty sure I have Skies of Arcadia in my Steam library. I think I picked it up on one, on sale one time because it looked really cool, but I haven't actually tried it out yet. Um, it's, it's one of the many things I've been meaning to get to. Starts a new quest in uh, Fantasy 14. I had to do a double take on the text because out of nowhere my name appears in the text. I'm not that used to seeing Trine out there in the world. Oh! Yeah, that is interesting. Um... I don't know if I've ever seen my name in a game. I'm sure there's probably a game that's tossed it in, at least as like a side character somewhere, but I can't... I don't know if it's anything I've ever experienced or played. You can, synth you can synthesize a new item with the item still equipped? Yeah, I've done that. Say equip a wood model, you don't have to unquip it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Synthesizing can be done while an item is still equipped, but uh, yeah. Or synthesizing a new weapon, it's good to check whether you finished learning a skill first. Yes. Handy tips. Okay. So, what can I synthesize right now? Stop doing that. There we go. Uh, I like Suikoden 3... Because the owner of the castle has your name. I'm the Tentai Star, apparently. Or Tenkai, sorry, Tenkai Star. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's. That game is also fantastic. The owner of the castle. I'm trying to think, it's, it has been a while. Oh, yes, yeah, okay, I think I know who. Yeah, I remember who you're talking about. What's his name? Oh no, Mango. Oh no. That's... Quite the reference. Thomas inherits the castle that the hero builds in the... Yes, yes, that's right. He doesn't have everything on the heavy mall yet. I need to actually drop out of here for a second and see who still has stuff to learn on the things. Okay, so Yuri's still learning things on the Night Sword. He knows everything off all the other weapons he can equip, though. Rapide knows everything off everything he can equip. Estelle's still learning stuff off Gladius, but everything else is done. Carol has everything done. Okay. And Rita's still learning something off the scarf plus one. And still has the leather whip to go, which has critical guard and defend. Okay. I might have to do, uh, not right now, but if I keep falling behind a little bit on weapons, I might have to do a little bit of grinding at some point to, uh, just to teach everybody everything so that I can continue equipping better stuff as I get them. That's alright. Uh, what can I synthesize right now? Oh. Alright, so I don't need that, don't need that. He had done everything, so I, I can just make this straight now. And equip it to him. Morning Star plus one. She was still working on the regular Morning Star. And I don't think either of those was what she was still trying to make. I better hold off. Yes, okay, because the Leather Whip has Critical Guard and Defend, but then the Leather Whip has plus one has completely different stuff, so I don't want to make that either until Rita's done learning these. 
Uh, I can make this. What is this? Half damage, quarter damage, minimum damage. It drops his attack by 99, though. That essentially. That's like all of it. That's weird. I'll make it, but... I don't have any gr grimoire pages yet, so I can't make this. Okay. This is actually good, because I'm uh, we're, we're finally starting to get to the point in the game where I, uh... Like, everything isn't just sort of nicely falling into place and when it comes to like learn a couple things get the next weapon learn a couple things like now there's some things i don't have the materials to make yet there's some things i'm not ready to start making yet so it's it's fleshing out and becoming a little more complex which i enjoy when it comes to crafting systems and stuff okay what do you sell here Night Sword, Gladius, Great Axe. Okay. Nothing that I need. That's what she's still learning, right? Still, still learning the glass. She currently. Oh, she hasn't even gotten to the Morning Star yet. Okay, so I need to learn the Morning Star and then synthesize it to the Morning Star plus one. Okay, yeah. So. Oh, wait, no, never mind. I'm... She has learned the stuff on the Morning Star. Yeah, because there's no bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can synthesize the Morning Star plus one. I just can't put it on her yet. Little Mad Scientist? It's a neat name for an achievement. Round Shield. Oh, this is what it was talking about, being able to make a new, uh, new sub-weapon, but I don't have the things for it. I need Tolbikin Fish and Tolbikin Water. Okay, nothing there to make. That would be a slight improvement. That's better. So wait, Feather Cloak or uh, Lamellar Guard. Steel Protector. And Lamellar Leather. Okay. Do you sell any of those? Oh no, you don't sell armor at all. Okay. Sell armor at all? Is there anyone here who sells armor? That seems weird that a town wouldn't have anyone who sells armor. I should maybe explore around a bit more before I synthesize those pieces. That's the end. I'll check there in a little bit. Interesting. Far off on this continent to the west is the den of our guilds. They call it Dongress to visit sometime. Okay. Oh, I hope I didn't miss that skit. Welcome, welcome. Plenty of healthy catches here. Thanks for dropping by. Okay, good. The breeze that blows in a port city makes everything feel so different. It smells like the sea. Stand in the ocean wind too long and you'll get covered in salt, you know. Thank you for ruining my mood. Hey, feel free to get all sticky and gross. I won't stop you. Welcome, welcome. How'd you like to sell me some of your memories? One memory, five gold. What? Huh? Too cheap? Come on now, don't hog all your memories. Surely you could spare one or two? <laughs> um. I don't think I'm gonna sell memories anytime soon. My friend moved to a town called Heliord. It's supposed to be the new. a new town the Empire made. 
And now we're back to this where the path sl split before. And this is just going to leave town? Yeah, okay. So now let's explore the inn. I was wandering through the forest and became lost in some old ruins. It was there I heard the unnatural howling of some frightful beast. There's no doubt in my mind it was the legendary monster... Yuma? There are many of us with the same profession in this world, but we're not all in the same guild. What I mean to say is, I have nothing to do with the Blood Alliance. Okay, fair enough. The continent of Tabikia got Capitorum and Dongrist on it. And in Dongrist, there's the union that brings the guilds together. Okay, so the guilds have some sort of governing structure. Oh, hello, you cuties. How do you like a game with little me? I think I'll be a pushover just because I'm a woman, you're going to get burned. I don't know what you're talking about, so I'm gonna... 300 gold. No thank you, that's okay. I just wanted to know what you were charging. Torum feels a lot more like a port city than Nor did, don't you think? Yes, it's lively, and the port is full of ships. That's because Torum is run by Fortune's Market. They control shipping all over the world. I'm pretty sure Fortune's Market has their headquarters in Torum. I guess business can keep a city running if people wanted to. I never would have thought of that. Another mat. Magic lens. Uh. Got fourteen. I could take one. I'll leave that for now. If I forget about it, that's fine, but hopefully I remember at some point when I've used a few more and I can come back and grab all three of them. You! I didn't realize this was going to advance this, the plot. I didn't mean to come in here if I had known. That's okay. Yes? Have we met somewhere? Convenient time for amnesia. I know somebody who can fix that for you. Amnesia? I'm terribly sorry, but this is the first time we've met. Are you crazy? <laughs> Magistrate, your crimes are undeniable. These people have seen everything. As I've just been explaining, someone had assumed my identity and was trying to ruin my reputation. It was most upsetting. <laughs> the old doppelganger excuse, eh? I saw those people you fed to the monsters with my own two eyes! Well, Sir Flynn, who are you to believe? These young ruffians or me, a member of the council? Flynn. It's settled then. I bid you all good day. Well, who does that guy think he is? And who the hell is he? <laughs> <laughs> who the Settle hell down. is this guy? This is This is His Royal Highness Yoder, candidate for the Imperial Throne. <laughs> he just smiles at her. Huh? <laughs> yeah, right, Estelle. Good one. <laughs> what? I'm only one of the candidates. It's true. With the passing of the previous Emperor, Master Yoder is a rightful heir to the throne. A rightful really? heir. So there's several. I wonder how their right of succession is set up that it's not like 
clear cut? Yes. An alleged Imperial heir captured by a so-called magistrate. That's interesting. I see. Then this incident means that I... A little too juicy for public consumption, huh? I... I just... It's got something to do with your decision to leave the castle, doesn't it? <sighs> do whatever you want. I've got no interest in an empire that just sits and does nothing while its people suffer in plain sight. Yuri. And what have you changed by turning your back on such an empire? We need just laws laid down by the government to ensure that people can live lives of stability and peace. Those same laws just let Rago walk out that door. Which is why you and I became knights, Yuri, to change things like that. If we couldn't make it happen by yelling about it from below, then we said we'd gain honor and trust and fix the Empire from within. Remember? And how's that going for you, though, Flynn? So, in order to get ahead in life, I'm supposed to stand by while somebody feeds little kids to monsters? Is that it? You want me to look the other way when our people in the lower quarter are being bled dry by taxes? It's because I can't do those things that I quit being a knight. I know, but has anything changed because you quit? <clears throat> has anything changed because you haven't quit, Flynn? How is anything different than it was before you joined the Knights? Wait! I'm coming too! I've done it again. I only want for him to move on with his life. To quit sitting around. Flynn, I... My apologies for such an embarrassing scene. What do you intend to do next? Would it be all right if I go with him? Why? I feel like so much has changed during my travels with Yuri. The Empire, the world. I've changed as well. Lady Estelis. Understood. You there. Young man. Who? <laughs> me? Tell Yuri to take good care of this young lady. Okay. Is it really all right? I would rather do the job myself, but I'm afraid my current duties won't allow it. And as long as you're with him, I can be certain you'll be safe. You believe in him, don't you? I do. If you guys are finished, can we get going? We'll lose him if we don't hurry. Damn, he knows how to get to me. I know better than anyone that nothing's changed. I guess I should look for clues about the Blastiocor. Parted with everyone. The way he looks, Barbo should stick out like a sore thumb walking around in town. But it'd sure help if anyone saw where he and his gang were headed. Come to think of it, I wonder what happened to Raven back in Rago's palace. I guess he panicked and ran when the Dragon Rider and the Knight showed up. Yeah, we never saw Raven after he went inside. So I should have done the synthesis when I had the chance before, because now... Uh, now I can't see who it's going to be good on, because they're not in my party currently. So I'll have to wait till I have the full party again before I mess... Oh, there's Raven. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Uh, I don't want to... The sign on the other side of the glass. Shop open on the first floor. Come and check out our goods. Okay. I 
don't want to talk to him yet. What's in here? The place I thought I was supposed to go, so I was leaving to last, but as it turned out, the inn was where I progressed the story. This town is so nice to live in. The people are kind, the weather not too hot, not too cold. And best of all, the president isn't here. Okay, so we're not going to see Kaufman. That's okay. This is Fortune Market, Fortune's Market Headquarters. The president's not here right now. What do you want? Okay, so there's just, there's like nothing in here. There's no, oh. This is Kaufman's room. She might have a fit if we go inside. Yeah, I can see that. Okay, so there's nothing to do in here right now. Good, 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 good. Oh wait, can I not go like back there and talk to that cat? I guess not. Anything in these boxes? Poison ball, can't care anymore. For now. Okay, I already checked all these doors. Uh, what was the other thing I wanted to fossil find before I synthesized? Oh yeah, I guess there just isn't someone who sells armor in this town. I guess the only way to get armor right now is to synthesize, which is fine. I just wanted to check what the armor would be selling before I uh, before I invested in synthesizing. But it seems like talking to Raven right now is the only thing that's new available to us to do. It's him. <laughs> huh? <laughs> hey there. Long time no see. Isn't there something else you should be saying? <sighs> something else? Hmm. Can't think of anything. Well, they say the deceived have better memories than the deceivers, don't they? I'm just terribly misunderstood. Honest. <laughs> You need to see a doctor for your tendency to unconsciously cause trouble to others. You might see if you can get that foul mouth of yours checked out, too. You gotta come back for everything, huh? If you don't stop putzing around, the knights are gonna throw you back in jail. Ha! <laughs> the knights are a bit too busy to bother with me. I saw a rough-looking guild group moving to the northwest not too long ago. The oh, knights yeah? can't just turn a blind eye to them, can they? Rough-looking, you say? Was it the Blood Alliance? Beats me. By the way, what was your business back there? Nothing special. I was looking for an apatheia. What is an apatheia? Supposed to be like a really strong core. Heard that it was there, but I guess I had the wrong information. I see. An apatheia. Oh! Yuri! Hey! Over here! Uh, I'll get you, old man! <laughs> hmm. Maybe I'd best be off now. Yep, the Amazonas has emerged. Wait! Damn it! I'm gonna be too senseless! <sighs> Why'd you let him get away? He said he's terribly misunderstood. What? What does that mean? He got away. I'll catch that bugger one of these days. You should leave him be. Going up against that kind of guy is just a waste of energy. You all right? Just let me take a, a little break. Sure, you can have a little one. Then we've got to go. Go? Go where? We need to follow the Blood Alliance to get back the lower quarters blast you. Did you get a lead on where to go next? I heard that a shady group from a guild was headed to the northwest. It might be them. To the northwest of here? The only city I can think of in that direction would be one that was destroyed in an earthquake. Oh. What could they want to do in a place like that? Hmm, good question. And yet, you still want to go? I'm just saying we should go and check it out. Seems reasonable. Okay, reunited with everyone.
Hey, Carol, do you know anything else about that city you said was destroyed in an earthquake? Just rumors. Supposedly, it was some guild's headquarters about 10 years ago. Which guild was that? Sorry, I can't help you there. I've never heard of an earthquake that destroyed an entire city. Well, Ospio is across the ocean. Maybe the information just never made it that far? Maybe. Hmm, I wonder. Okay, now we have everybody back. I don't know why the market menu always, like, initially has troubles with... It's like... It's detecting controller inputs that aren't there, but it doesn't do it on any other menu. Every other menu works fine. Uh, I can't make any of that. Okay. There's nothing we can make there, but there was several pieces of armor we could make, right? Yeah, two of these. Uh... Oh, I don't have the pieces left to make that, that's okay. Or that. Okay, so I need to get some more tough leather to make any of these extra pieces. I can make repeat a steel protector. still working on stuff. They're not working on anything. Oh, wait. We just didn't equip that. Oh, what was... Yeah, it really drops our attack power by that much, eh? That's a substantial decrease. What do these do? confused. There's no way that mastering this just makes all damage coming and be reduced to one. It would just be like unkillable. Welcome in. Good to see you. How are you doing today? Uh, I mean, whatever. I will attempt to learn it and see what happens. So then everyone's currently learning something. Okay. Good, 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 good. Yuri has nothing to move on to afterwards. Pete has nothing to move on to. Stell does have something to move on to. And Rita does have something to move on to. A little better after seeing that good boy. Nice. Glad to hear it. Checking. There's nothing in here I can make right now, right? Because I don't have the materials. Okay. Uh, so 
So I guess we're we're done here. Let's get this over with. How's the stream so far? It's been good. Um, made a good amount of progress in my opinion. Got to um, got to some of the new content that I haven't experienced before that wasn't in the uh, North American version back in the day. So that was fun to just start seeing some of that new stuff pop up. Where did I want me to go? Northwest? That's that way. What's, what's on this road? Because I'm supposed to be going... Uh, Master of Nor underwent questioning. To both the of Lions have set out for a town northwest of Torum. I'm pretty sure northwest is this way. No, I just have to watch the VODs? Mm, yeah. I think, uh... I think you'll enjoy the, the new character. Well, new to me, I mean. Oh, I can't go this way, because... Oh, no, there's a bridge right there. I can go this way. It's these two again. Welcome to the King of Adventure. Oh, it's you. Wonderful to see you again. I've... I mean, we have met, but I've never actually used your services before. What pleasant serendipity that we'd run into each other yet again. Uh... I mean, you're all over the map. I don't... I thought we'd see them again. Oh, big brother, you're ever so blunt. Who are these people? This is Karen and Rich. They're traveling around and operating an inn. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Seems you have more companions since the last time we met. How nice. Perhaps you'd like to stop and rest? It's only showing the five that are in my party right now. It's not showing Rita with us, even though she's here. Yeah, I could use some rest. I agree, I'm kind of tired of myself. Well, then we'll take you up on your offer. Please, make yourselves at home. I didn't have to pay for that, they're just giving me a free rest? I mean, I'll take it. That was training. Hmm, it's a pretty ancient looking sword. Blade's gotten really dull, too. It's no longer anything more than an antique, unfit to cut man or beast. Is that sort of important to you? It belonged to someone I respect. I can't just get rid of it. Rich, it seems like you're not running a traveling inn just for the heck of it. Am I right? <laughs> Shouldn't be so nosy, Carol. It's alright. I'm... I'm a warrior, not an innkeeper. I left my village with Karen to slay giganto monsters. I was 15 at the time. When you were 15, how old are you now? I'm 28. 13 years, huh? That's pretty long. The giganto monster. That's the name of a giant type of monster living all over the world. I heard there's an exterminate extermination force sent by the Empire to kill them that was entirely wiped out every single one of those monsters has fallen, I cannot go back to my hometown. That's pretty rough. Why's that? Not saying. Sounds like there's something you're not telling us. Maybe we can help? Seems like you're having a tough time of it. But you see. I don't know the details, but you committed to doing this yourself, didn't you? Yeah. And it sounds like this is up to him, Carol. 
Yeah. Did you sleep well? Yeah, I slept like a trick yo-yo. What? Hey, what kind of expression is that? <laughs> if you ever happen to see us around again, please stop and say hello. Yes, thank you so much, you're so kind. Later. Hey brother, I keep telling you, try to be more friendly. Maybe we should have helped them? We can't solve all the world's problems by ourselves. So if we ever happen to run into these monsters that he was talking about, we may as well take them out for him. I don't see any problem with doing that much. Yeah, alright. I mean, I would anyway, because I'm sure they drop stuff that I want, but... Does this put us on the other side of that camp? I was just trying to pass through to... No, I wanted to... Can I not walk through that bridge and go out that way? I just don't say shit to you and just run through. This is where I ran through last time. Do I have to... I probably just have to follow the road. Yeah, I don't think it's going to let me get through and cross this bridge right now. Which is kind of upsetting because I really should be able to. Well, I guess this isn't really going northwest, this is going just kind of straight west, right? Maybe. Oh. Piece of cake! Don't get cocky! I'll blow you away! Destroy rock! Power to try some shot! Destruction field! Destruction! We're done. Hey, Eliza Witch 666, welcome in. Thanks for stopping by. How are you doing today? first. First time playing Tales? Um, no, I played it back like around when it originally released, um, but I haven't played it since then. So it's been it's been like a decade since I played it last, and I never played the um, I never had to play any of the extra content that was released in the uh, the Japanese version, but that wasn't in the North American version. So that stuff is all new to me. Top. 
You looked up, slept like a trick yo-yo, and it seems like the expression comes from a beginner's trick called a sleeper, where you let the yo-yo drop down and let it spin before pulling it back up. Okay. I mean, that makes sense then. I, I've just never heard that before. Fight this, I guess. clearly reducing Rapide's damage, because he's only hitting for one. I'm trying to remember what the benefit of learning those is. I know there is one. I also know that I can disable it afterwards, so like it's not like after I learn this he'll be stuck at doing one damage, so I can just put him back on a regular weapon and he'll be fine. Uh, so I am going to finish teaching them to him. I'm just trying to remember when I would want to use those. I think... I want to say there are definitely times... Uh, you want that. I'm just trying to remember exactly when. It'll come up, I'm sure. I guess we had some time to unwind. <laughs> You're still learning that. You just finished that, so yeah, you can put the leather whip on. You finished those, so there's nothing else that you need to learn, so I'll just put your best weapon on, and then... Remember to hack the game to play Estelle with her blue gown. Sorry for your English or French. Oh no worries. No, your English is your English is solid. No worries there. You're not doing poorly at all. Um, yes, I do remember. There's a way to uh, to have her keep that blue gown on. I think. I don't know if I ever actually knew how to do it, but I knew it was a thing. What was I just trying to do? I wanted to... Yeah. Skills. And so I want to... I want to take these off because I don't 
really want to be doing less damage right now. But now I have those if I want them later. Uh, are you... Oh, by default, they have the, uh... The manual control skills unselected because... Uh, Alright, I'm not controlling repeat right now. Okay, that makes sense. Does anyone else have... Learning that... Whatever, I don't need to micromanage those too bad right now. Like, everything's going fine. My characters are clearly strong enough. If I get into a hard boss fight again, I may have to nagle with some of that stuff. Uh, so, Torum was down there, so I think... Yeah, up here is where I'm supposed to be going. Northwest of, uh... Man, could you be any weaker? Don't let him trip you up! <laughs> We finished them off. I finished them off. Huh? I don't really need to be fighting every single fight here. I think. This, yeah, this looks like the ruined town where I'm supposed to be headed. Guess we can do this. Why am I missing every swing of this thing? Let's just swing them down. Years before you can beat me. Because you've lived a lot longer, right? Not exactly. Who's my favorite character? Oh, that's a that's a good question. Um, I really like all of them, really. But if I had to pick a favorite, I would probably say Raven. Um, of course, in this playthrough, we're still early enough that we've barely seen him. Only a, only a couple of times. time is it? Yeah, okay. Um, I've been going for just about four and a half hours, and I think that's, that's as far as I want to go tonight. Uh, so I think I'll call it right before heading into this ruined town here, because I don't remember exactly what's about to happen in this place, or like how long a story segment it'll start off with. So I don't, I don't really want to jump into that and then not have an opportunity to save and be stuck, like, for a while. So I think right now is where, where I'm going to call it for the evening. Uh, but it was, uh, we made some good progress today, though. Because, um... I mean, we started today back still on Emmett Hill, right? So... Went through a couple of towns and some some story sections, so it's been a good stream. Oh, thank you for coming in, McD. Thank everyone for coming in. I really appreciate it. Uh, anyone who stopped by for any amount of time. Um, Have you noticed how many successes to lurk or hang out? Oh, thank you for that follow, Eliza. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Uh, I remember them being quite a journey, so that's a pretty good spot to stop. Yeah, yeah, I mean, well, Tales games can be quite long, especially if you go for, like, any sort of amount of completionism and try and, like, do all the side stuff. We haven't really had side stuff yet in this one. Um, there is side stuff later. There's plenty of it. There's lots of side quests. But, uh, 
right now we're still very much in the early stages, kind of progressing through the initial story. Um, but it's been good, it's been fun. Um, Tales, will, again, will be next Wednesday. Tales is Wednesdays and Fridays. Um, the next stream will be Sunday with more Hades. Uh, thank you for the stream. Staying up to fix your sleep schedule. I was I was wondering, Mango, because normally you've you've headed to bed by now. But um, good luck with getting that getting that fixed and um, getting yourself back on track there. Uh, it can, can be hard to do, but it's usually good to do to get yourself back into a a routine that you're more comfortable with. Uh. Let me just pop us, throw us in chatting for a second. I gotta go to, um... I have a feeling I know where we're gonna jump over and raid uh, in a second here. But I just gotta double check and make sure that, uh... <laughs> double raid? Yes, I'm making sure there's a double raid. I'm I'm on purpose hopping in when I shouldn't be. Um <laughs> Oops, I didn't mean to click that. I wish I wish OBS was less less problematic when it came to getting that audio to keep playing, because I'd like to still have the game audio playing in the background, but just with, with Vesperia in particular, when I minimize, the audio does not keep playing through OBS, which is unfortunate. Um... Yeah, okay. Okay, she's still going. Uh, yeah, we will be going to the same place where that double raid happened, uh, Liquid, but uh, she's not ending right now, which is good. Uh, even learning about Norwegian Christmas traditions from some famous knitters. Sounds like a good time even if you only do some of the things. Oh, wait, I want to get up early on Christmas Day to watch the regular stuff. Oh, nice, yeah. Hmm. Very cool. Famous knitters, interesting. I love how there are famous people in, like, every field imaginable. Like, I feel like a lot of people wouldn't think of, like, something like nitty knitting as a hobby to have, like, famous people in it, but it absolutely does, and stuff like that is really cool to me. That, like, just with whatever you're passionate about, you can you can sort of find a following and uh, and get good enough at it that, that people like to like to sort of experience what you're doing. Um, we've got our raid emote here. Uh, what do I want to make the statement? She's playing Black Ops. Um, is it regular Black Ops or is it zombie Black Ops? Looks like a regular match, I think. Maybe it's not. Uh, I'm so bad at coming up with... <laughs> I feel like I'm good at coming up with raid messages for other people's raids, but then when it's my own, like on my own stream, I just blank and I'm like, what, what do I want to say? Um... Your watermelon killing skills are miraculous. Is that something to do with the new Black Ops that I don't understand? I'm down with it. I like that's 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 a phenomenal message. Are there watermelons in Black Ops? In the new one? Uh, 
Oh, it's a COD reference from COD 3. Good enough. If no one gets it, that's okay, because the message itself is amusing. And for the people who have played COD 3, they'll find it that much better. Oh no, you're though? What happened? What's up? Is everything okay, love? Oh, wrong your. Good catch. Uh, okay, I'll start the raid and I'll quickly fix that and repaste it. Unless stream... Unless OBS just decides to... <laughs> I No worries, Liquid. I didn't even catch it. Right, picked picked up just coming out of a a nap in a, in a sleepy stupor is just like that's not accurate, <laughs> and the rest of us are just like yeah it's it's fine whatever. Okay, there's the there's the edited one. Usually the one to catch that kind of thing. I mean, I would have said I am too, but uh, it happens. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so um, as I said, uh, that's the message. Going over to see Wix. She's playing some COD, and then I believe she's going to be streaming long enough to then join the uh, the speedrunning event later that uh, Za, who hangs out in here sometimes and who we've rated before, is taking part in. Uh, next, next Vesperia stream is Wednesday. Next stream stream is Sunday with more Hades. Uh, thank you so much for coming in, hanging out. Uh, I really appreciate it, and I love you all. Okay.